Good afternoon, y'all. Here in Southern California, it's quarter to three in the afternoon. And I did get out a little bit um, this morning. God and I were talking about some people that we know that need some help. And I was asking him to please take care of our veterans and for everyone to pray for them. Somebody said, and I don't know who somebody ever is, but somebody said that if it were not for our veterans, we would be speaking German or I don't know what, China, Japanese, Russian, I don't know. I can barely speak English. But anyway, um, y'all know how much I love the veterans. You know how many people in my family and how many I've married. I mean, I love and appreciate our veterans because I know without a doubt we wouldn't be here without them. But I had to make this video and a lot of y'all, oops, sorry, people don't like that rocking, um, rocking and talking. Yeah, I can do that. But um, <clears throat> a lot of people may not know there's so many new folks and I've neglected and neglected. I've been power washing and power washing and power washing over at Steph's and um, she's been gone now for it seems like forever y'all she's been gone several days i don't remember what day it was she left but it is very strange because you know we talked texted something every day um and I always saw her when she brought Maverick out. But anyway, that's kind of, that's hard. But I've been doing a lot of work over there anyway. And um, this morning I got out and I was doing some cleaning out behind my shed. And you know, um, just a couple of things I wanted to talk to y'all about. Um, Let's see, where do I start? Okay, let's start right here. Do y'all see that? You see that? If I spray anything on my hair, like I usually spray some water on it if I wanna spruce up my curls which are usually in a rubber band, and they will be there again pretty soon. But I know y'all have noticed that. Now, I've got a really, really good friend, and her daughter likes to play with wigs. And um, she has, uh, she sent me a picture of her daughter uh, one time, and she had on this bright pink wig. Now, y'all, as much as I like pink, I am not wearing pink. Um, but if I need a wig, I know where to get it. And I, I told my friend, I said, you know what? I have such wonderful viewers that I'm going to do a GoFundMe for a wig. She's like, no, you're not. Y'all know I wouldn't do that. Now, I do have a couple of things that I could do. Um, and who was I talking to? Oh, I was talking to another friend of mine, Sheila, the other day, and I was talking about how thin my hair was and blah, blah, blah. And I said, I guess I'm going to have to start, um, you know, wearing baseball caps. Now, that makes you look like Bozo, don't it? It's just sad that we lose things when we get older. 
It's really sad. Our hair, our eyesight, our teeth, our hearing, our husbands, our wives, our children. We just lose stuff all the time. Now, when we're little, we get stuff. Yeah, well, those days are gone. Y'all know today, on Veterans Day, I turned 67 years old. I did. And I thank God for letting him, uh, for him letting me get this far in life, uh, get to be this age. Um, I do appreciate it. I appreciate every minute of it. Well, almost. But, um, you know, we lose a lot of stuff. It's like, now I never have had eyebrows, y'all. But this is what I'm going to do. I am going to get maybe a silver. It's really hard because my hair, the, the, the front part, the really front part of my hair, the top layer, maybe I should say, is it's not really, I guess it's kind of gray. It looks white to me. I always feel like Santa Claus. But, um, anyway, um, I'm going to get either a silver, my wrist itches all the time. Right there. There's nothing there. There's no bug bites. There's nothing. But, anyway... Um, I thought what I would do, because I just hate doing this, and, um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get maybe a silver, or if I can find one, like a light gray magic marker, and I'm just going to I'll have eyebrows forever. You know, I've saved up a little bit of money. Uh, I've got a little tiny nest egg. And I do have enough that I could get my eyebrows tattooed, which is something that I have always wanted to do. Always. Ever since I knew you could do it. I am really, I, I hate needles a lot, but I don't care. I've never had a beer before, but I know it really makes some people kind of goofy and they don't know what's going on around them. But the smell of it just turns my stomach. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I um, thought that that would be a good idea. Now, I will make a video of me looking in a mirror and doing it okay so y'all can see I'll have to use my little round mirror that magnifies 15 times um, I try not to look in that unless I absolutely have to but um, I just hate drawing on eyebrows I don't they're white they're white they always have been and my maternal grandmother had to wear uh, eyebrow makeup too. Maybelline and this little tray. And you would slide it out and there would be this little brush. And the other part of it was kind of, it was powder, but it was, you know, solid. I still have some today. And then you just put your little brush and then you you shape your eyebrow or whatever and so my grandmother bless her heart she got my mother to let me start putting a little eyebrow stuff on 
Oh, gotta pause, y'all.